for me, September is a time for new beginnings. School is back in session, the weather slowly changing, and holidays are ahead. It feels like the perfect time to consider another new beginning, getting started on heightened awareness and advocacy in our units for an environment where nurses and all people feel valued and respected. If you're interested in knowing more, the AACN's Healthy Work Environment Standards provide a foundation to build on. So if you haven't started your journey toward a healthier work environment, why not start now? In 2004, when we implemented the tele-ICU at ANOVA, we were located outside of the hospital. It felt like quite a challenge to create a team located outside of hospital walls that needed to work together internally as well as collaborate externally with several ICUs across our system. To address this challenge, we chose the Healthy Work Environment Standards as a foundation on which to build our team. Once a month, we introduced one of the six standards using a poster to spotlight it and created an area for comments, questions, and ideas about how we were or were not living the standard. Over a relatively short period of time, this work enhanced our unit satisfaction and positively impacted our engagement scores so significantly that HR asked us how we did it. Today, almost 20 years later, some of our, the same nurses still work in the tele-ICU and our scores remain high. Recently, AACN launched a new version of their Healthy Work Environment Assessment Tool, HWE 2.0. HWE 2.0 is a free online tool for you and your team to collectively measure the health of your work environment against the six HWE standards. Skilled communication, true collaboration, effective decision-making, appropriate staffing, meaningful recognition, and authentic leadership. Our tool is valid and reliable, used globally, and has been translated into a dozen languages. There is overwhelming evidence that a healthy work environment affects both patient and nurse outcomes. In fact, our 2021-2022 HWE survey results showed that implementing even one of the HWE standards had a positive impact on job satisfaction and nurse retention. The new HWE 2.0 tool is just 24 questions long, takes about 15 minutes to complete, and produces a baseline report that helps identify departmental strengths and opportunities. The report also includes a comprehensive toolkit to guide your next steps and track your progress. Rising together, we can create and sustain healthy work environments where nurses thrive and are less likely to suffer burnout. Rising together, we can establish environments where nurses are fully engaged and continue to advocate for patients and their families. Nearly two decades ago, my team and I began our HWE journey. Today, you can take the first or next step on your path. What are you doing to improve the health of your work environment? Tell me more at risingtogether at aacn.org. Thank you.